Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death unto life, because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Hey folks, I want to share a story with y'all. When I was a teenager, 13, 14, I was big into heavy rock music. The first experience I ever had with a Christian person was in 1998. I was in um, Shreveport, Louisiana. They had this thing downtown. It was called the Malibu Alley. It was like a nightclub, but there was an, an alley between two buildings, and they used to have concerts there. And I went to see some pretty big bands at the time. Some of you may not even heard of them. Um, one of them was a band called Slipknot. It was when they first came out. And there was a few other ones there. And again, I was young, you know. I don't want to do the math right now. I think I was 14. 13 going on 14, that's what it was. And um, the concert was over. And all of us were going to leave. And there was some so-called Christian people from a church building on the sidewalk screaming at every single one of us that walked by and told us, we're all going to hell. God hates us. God hates heavy metal music. And we're going to hell. And he kept screaming all this at us. Well, I stopped and I says, why do you say I'm going to hell? And the guy was screaming in my face, saying that I was hated and all this other stuff. The guy had everything backwards. Now that I've, you know, read the Bible and I've come to Christ and everything, he had everything backwards. We're not supposed to come to people like that. We're supposed to come to people in love or they won't hear us. Problem was, I know how I was at the time and I could only imagine everybody else that was in that grunge phase probably was too. I didn't feel loved by anybody. Didn't feel wanted by anybody just wanted love to be loved to be wanted not necessarily needed just wanted and for people from a church building to come and tell people who a lot of these people have suicidal thoughts that they're hated by god i can only imagine a lot of those people went home may or may not cried their eyes out may or may not ended their life so what was the purpose of doing that the way that person did? Or those people did? There wasn't any. There wasn't any. You might as well have picked up a rock and threw it at me. You know? Literally. Because it hurt. You know, I'll tell you all the truth. The only person that took up for me, because I was a kid, there was um, a pretty big biker club in Shreveport around this time. I can't remember the name of it. I think it was... I don't really don't want to say it here, um, just in case they're still around. But there was this guy, and I, he had a weird nickname. I think he was named Mutt or something, like a stray dog, a mutt. Um, he came out there. He was probably six five, big guy, you know. And uh, he came out there and he grabbed that guy by his shirt collar and told him, "Don't ever speak to a child like that." And he had all his patches and stuff on, and. Uh, well, the other bikers came out and did the same thing. He was screaming at kids, 13, 14, 15 years old. And he didn't do it in love. That's what hurt. I felt hated. I felt, I can't even explain it to you. And after that day, for a long time in my life, I hated God because I thought he hated me. That's what that guy said. I never read the Bible then. So I lived my teenage life as, well, I'm going to hell anyway. I'm just going to do what I want. Folks, we're supposed to love one another, okay? We're supposed to come to people with love, not what these people did. And because of that, 
a lot of bands in the 90s, I could name a handful of them, they came out with songs against Christianity because those types of people would come to all their concerts screaming at people saying that they're all going to hell, they're all going to burn, God doesn't love them, all this other stuff. This is what the bands heard. This is the Jesus that bands heard. So yeah, they all hated God too because of that fact. They weren't come, people didn't come to them in love to tell them about Jesus Christ. It was with hate. A lot of you in the church need to get your acts together because you don't come to people with love. And what you're doing to people is the same thing that those people did to me. You're making them hate God. Truly think about it. Jesus is coming soon, folks. Look around. Romans 10, 9 through 13. I love all of you and God bless. Thank you.